लाइट क्लास एट चैप्टर सिक्सटीन सेकेंड पार्ट री रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट ना द टॉपिक इज रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट वेन लाइट फॉल्स ऑन एन ऑब्जेक्ट और एनी सरफेस देर आर द थ्री पॉसिबिलिटीज फर्स्ट द लाइट मे कंप्लीटली पास थ्रू इट इफ इट इज ट्रांसपेरेंट सेकेंड वन इज लाइट मे बी एब्सॉर्ब एंड द थर्ड वन इज लाइट मे बाउंस बैक आफ्टर स्ट्राइकिंग द ऑब्जेक्ट और सरफेस चिल्ड्रन यू आर सींग हेयर डायग्राम सिक्सटीन पॉइंट टू प्लेन मिरर इंसिडेंट रे स्ट्राइक ऑन द प्लेन मिरर एंड कम्स बैक इन द सेम मीडियर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ रिफ्लेक्टेड रे द बाउंसिंग बैक ऑफ द लाइट रेज फ्रॉम द सरफेस ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट तो दिस इज कॉल्ड रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट चिल्ड्रेन अगेन आई एम सेंग रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट मीन्स बाउंसिंग बैक ऑफ लाइट रेज फ्रॉम द सरफेस ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट द रे ऑफ लाइट विच फॉल्स ऑन एन ऑब्जेक्ट दिस इज कॉल्ड इंसिडेंट रे द एंड द रे ऑफ लाइट विच गेट बाउंसड और रिफ्लेक्टेड फ्रॉम द सरफेस ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट तो दिस इज कॉल्ड रिफ्लेक्टेड रे the angle between the incident ray and the normal at the point of incidence this is called angle of incidence and it is uh, represented by small i the angle between the reflected ray and the normal so this is called angle of reflection and it is represented as small r reflecting object cast their shadows a reflecting surface does not allow the light falling on it to pass through a reflecting object does not absorb light falling on it as a result when light falls on a reflecting surface its shadow is seen behind it look at the diagram here the light rays a and b above the mirror pass straight the light ray c touches the top of the mirror and defines the length of the shadow the light rays d e f and g are stopped and reflected by the mirror the shadows of this mirror is formed behind it when light moving from a medium comes back into the same medium on hitting a surface we say reflection takes place different medium reflect different amount of light depending on the nature of its material and nature of the surface on which the light falls there are three different types of bodies first one is opaque body a body which absorb some of the light falling on it and reflects the remaining second is transparent body a body which permits maximum amount of light to pass through it and reflects very little light translucent body a body which partially allow the light to penetrate it and reflects the remaining moreover reflection are of two types regular and diffuse now regular and diffuse reflection regular reflection a reflection which is shown when a light falls on smooth surface such as mirror or a highly polished surface like shiny stainless steel irregular reflection when light rays falls on a rough reflecting surface it gets reflected in different direction as a result the reflected light falls over a large area an image form is not sharp and clear this type of reflection is called irregular or diffuse reflection children you are seeing a pic 16.4 regular reflection in regular reflection light gets reflected in one particular direction second pic this is irregular or diffuse reflection the light gets reflected in different direction laws of reflection the reflection always take place according to law the reflection of light takes play, ta place from a reflecting surface according to definite laws these are known as laws of reflection and there are two laws of reflection the first one the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal at the point of incident lie in the same plane 
the second is the angle of incidence is always equal to angle of reflection or we can say angle i is equal to angle r now come to activity 4 aim is verifying the laws of reflection and showing that the image is formed as behind the plane mirror as the object is in front of it for this activity materials required a wooden drawing board a white sheet of paper drawing pins scale pencil wooden blocks and plane mirror now procedure take a wooden drawing board and fix a white sheet of thick paper on it with the help of drawing pins now draw a straight line in the center of the paper with pencil mark it a b also mark the center of this line as o now keep a plane mirror exactly along this line with the help of wooden blocks draw a line o n perpendicular to the line a b this is the normal draw any line m o meeting the line a b at o this is our incident ray now insert two ball pins p and q all pins or ball pins p and q at any place on this line in upright position the distance between the two pins should be 4 to 5 cm this is our precaution the distance between the two pins should be 4 to 5 cm see the reflection of the pins in the mirror from the side b let it be p dash and q dash place two pins rs exactly in line with the reflection you see in the mirror now join these two points you will see that line drawn meets a b at o this is the reflected ray measure the angle of incidence that is angle p o n and angle of reflection angle s o n and you will find that they are equal repeat this activity several times by changing the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection you will observe that in each case angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection that is angle i is equal to angle r now remove the mirror measure p l and p dash l also measure q x and q dash x where l and x they lie on the mirror so you observe that p l this is equal to p dash l and q x is equal to q dash x further as the incident ray p o reflected ray o s and the normal o n lie in the plane of the paper we can say the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal all lie in the same plane now for your knowledge inside box a highly polished and smooth surface reflects almost all the light falling on it if a surface does not reflect any light at all it looks dull all objects reflect light but the amount of light reflected this is different for different objects